Um, we, when last we spoke, we'll get to our next guest in just a moment. Uh, thanks very much for waiting. Uh, when last we spoke, we were talking about uh, my experience at CKCO TV, and I was mentioning those orange jackets that the anchors used to wear. And I mentioned that I was primarily a writer reporter and a very, very occasionally used anchor. My point was I anchored once, and that was the farm report, because David Emery was either in, in – David Emery, the farm editor at the time, he's still there, by the way, David Emery was unavailable. He Either he was in the bathroom and had forgotten, or he had some kind of an issue. He couldn't get to the studio. And the, I'll never forget it, because the farm report came on right before the Flintstones. And I was – in the newsroom working on something and they say, Glenn, you got to go on camera right now, grab a red jacket and read the Agra news. It was like a two minute farm report leading up to the Flintstones. I'll never forget that. I wish I had it on tape uh, wearing that red jacket talking about Denfield hens and heifers and all the rest of it. And uh, we'll just wrap up the, the discussion. I was asking about Gary McLaren. Some of our older listeners might recall the legendary anchor, Gary McLaren, who predated Ron Johnston. He goes back to the, the very beginnings of CKCO. He was the anchor there in the 50s and through most of the 1960s. And uh, I had the pleasure of working for the man. And he was a, he was a, he was a classic newsman's newsman. I'll never forget working with and for him. I love the guy. And I was wondering if, gosh darn it, it sounds morbid, but I was wondering if he was still alive. And one of our listeners just told Matt, that Gary McLaren is not only alive and well, he just gave a Christmas reading or some kind of a reading at a church in Preston last week. Gary, I want to get in touch with you. Uh, it's been far too long and some great memories. 